In this video, we'll be learning about utilizing a data model. Let's add our first part of third party library to our project. You're going to have to download the files entitled astronomicaldata.h and .m. This will come in a zip file and you can unzip it. And I've added it to my desktop so I can easily access it. You'll also notice inside of my project that I've commented out our previous dictionary code because we won't be using this in the future. But in case you want to look back and use it at some other point or just figure out how we did it, feel free to leave it there and just comment it out. Again, the quick way to comment is highlighting multiple lines of code and holding down the command key and pressing the forward slash. So I can even show you that here. We can comment it out or comment it, uncomment it out very quickly. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding these two files to our project which will be the first example we have of adding third-party library or third-party code to our projects. This process will be similar when you go and find open source projects online, which will be really helpful for building out your projects. So let's go ahead and drag these into our project. We're going to drag it into supporting files because it's what these are. These are, in fact, supporting files. We might move these later, but for now, this is a great place to drop them. We're going to make sure that we have destination copy items into destination group folder if needed. Uh, we're going to make sure we have create groups or any added folders selected. And add to targets, we're going to definitely make sure we have out of this world selected. If we don't have this option selected, these files won't work properly. So we can press finish. And now we can go ahead and let's take a look at what these files contain. So we're going to look at the astronomical data.h file first. I'm just going to move it up to the top here. And we see some really weird new syntax called uh, pound sign or hashtag define. And we see this uh, planet name all in caps, which is weird because we've only used capitals for our class names before. And then we see some additional syntax after. We also have a method define here, which is called all known planets and it returns an array. But notice that there's a plus sign in front of this. And this is the first class method that we've taken a look at. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a future video. But we do know that for class method methods like alloc, uh, we call them on the class itself. So we can call all known planets on the class astronomical data. Let's also quickly look at astronomical data.m and take a look at what's in this file. And we see that we've implemented the method name all known planets. We're creating an unestimable array called planet information. And inside of that array, if we scroll all the way to the bottom here, we see that we're adding all of the objects, all of, all of our dictionary objects to this array. Finally, we're returning a copy of our array. So we've introduced a few new concepts here, namely class methods, as well as we've seen an NS dictionary defines, and we're also seeing this new syntax. It looks really, really weird. We see this at sign with these curly braces, and we see at with all these numbers. And we're going to go over what all this new stuff means in the next series of videos together.